In this video, I want to show you how to visualize star ratings in your Power BI reports without using any custom visuals. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do step by step so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. Even if you're not working with data, you must have seen what a star rating looks like. We use it to rate things like how fast a delivery service is or how good our Uber driver was. And seeing ratings as stars, although it's not the most precise way than saying just show the number values, it's a lot easier to catch your attention and a lot more visually appealing to see than just the numbers themselves. Here's an example of a report where you might want to show ratings or star ratings. So I have in this Power BI report just one table that lists out three of my most favorite movie franchises of all time. So I got some information about each of them, like the average rating for each one. And we just focus on the average rating. There are other data that is available for each of the titles. And here in our table, the average rating is visualized as numbers. And let's say we got a requirement to visualize these as stars instead. Now, currently there's no out of the box way to do it. And you might even find that you can use custom visualizations to do it. But what if I told you that you didn't have to import any custom visuals to visualize star ratings? So let's start by creating our measure first. I'm just gonna name this one uh, ratings. This is the measure that we're gonna add in our table to visualize the star ratings. And to visualize star ratings in this measure, we need to break this problem step by step together. So the first thing that we need to figure out is how to visualize our stars. Now we want to show five stars in total. So to convert this average rating from out of 10 to out of five. Next is we want to visualize two types of stars. So let's say if a rating for a title is three out of five, we want three colored stars and two hollow stars. If you watch one of my old videos in the past, you know that you can visualize icons and emoticons index really easily by hitting the windows and the dot icon. So it will show up this emoji bar. And if you simply look for what you want, so let's say we want the star, you can just add that. And because it's a string literal, we need to wrap it around this double quotes. And then this is how you would visualize a star. So if we just add that here in our table, so you can see this is the star that we might want to visualize. Another way that you can visualize icons and emoticons in DAX is by using this function unichar. Unichar allows us to tap into icons and emoticons in DAX. So you simply put the code for the character and it will output to you the corresponding icon. So I'm gonna just show you how it works. So unichar here and then the code for the icon. So I believe the star icon code is 11088. Close that, you'll see that it just shows us the star, this one, the exact same one that we've just added earlier. And if I show you the code for the hollow star, it's 9734. And this is the star that we're gonna use for the sort of how many stars out of how many. And by the way, the list of Unichar codes uh, is something that I found on a website online. And this has a full list of all the different icons and the codes underneath them available for you to use in Power BI when you're using Unichar. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description box below. So the next thing is we need to now find a way to put the right number of stars to our measure. So at the moment we have been putting one star each, but we want to create this dynamically. So decide how many stars to put based on the average rating for the context of the data. 
Now there is a function that we can use called rept, which repeats the number of characters to what you define it. So let me just change this back into 11088, which is the, the, the star icon. And we're gonna wrap it around this new function rept. So you give it the text and you say to it how many times you want to repeat this uh, unichar character. So if you, let's say for example, three times, you will see that this allows us to kind of modify how many times this star repeats in the column. Now, the last thing that we need to figure out is how to dynamically convert our ratings into the number of ratings so we can put the right number of stars in each of the row contexts. So the first thing that we need to do in this measure, because it's not a column, is we need to aggregate the ratings themselves. So we need to first wrap our average ratings into an average. The next thing is then we need to convert this into a rating out of five, not out of 10. So in this case, we need to wrap it around a function called divide. So we're gonna divide this number by two. The next thing is we need to convert this decimal number that it just converted it into, into a whole number. So for that, we need to use another function called int. So this just converts your decimal into a whole number. There we go. So this number that we have now is the number of times we want the star that we created earlier to repeat. So we can use that now in our measure here. So let's just wrap this that we've just created, just name it star into a variable. Let's go and return this. And I've saved that repetition here at the on my clipboard. So it's just repeating the unichar, but instead of putting a, a number there as a static, we can just say, give me how many stars or what is the, the result of this variable and repeat it as many times as it says in our variable. So if we hit enter, you'll see that now for each of the titles, it creates or generates the correct number of stars for the rating that is in that context. So three stars, two stars, four stars, depending on the average rating here. Great. So now the last thing that we need to do is add the hollow stars at the end so that we can have a full five stars in all of the ratings here. Uh, and that is actually pretty simple. So we're gonna add another variable here. We're just gonna name it unstar. Doesn't matter what you name it. And then we're simply going to do five minus star. So whatever the rating is, just give me the remainder of stars that I can put that I should put in the ratings. So um, this defines the repetition that we need for the hollow stars. So we're gonna add the hollow stars at the end. So we're going to combine another set of text at the end of the rating star. So we're gonna add the end sign here. We're gonna use the unichar first of all, and I believe it's 9734. So it adds the stars. Now we're gonna wrap this around a rep to repeat this uh, character and we say how many times use the value from the unstar. You hit enter, so there you go. So you can see you have the correct number of stars there. The big stars represent the average rating and then the hollow stars at the very end. So that's it. So you can see that with this measure, you can visualize the ratings of each individual titles uh, on every single row or because it's a measure it means that you can create uh, its own context so if you wanted to create a card let's say to show the average rating of a group of let's say titles you can also do that dynamically here using the measure by itself so for example at, in total, all of my movies that I like has an average rating of three stars out of five. And this context changes based on the selection that you make. So for example, I just wanted to see what is the matrix um, ratings overall is also three stars. So that creates a more dynamic way for you to use ratings. And this feature is seemingly available for you without 
even having to import any custom visuals at all. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to implement something like star ratings as a visual in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.